May I present to you the heiress of the Wong Enterprise, Elizabeth Wong. I was searching for my daughter for 20 years. You know how much I was suffering, you know what I felt inside, and you didn't even tell me? You ruined my dress! They took her away from me. They stole Elizabeth from me. Did you do something like what the Wong family did? That's why Elizabeth is with them right now. You are right, Auntie. No doubt they will brainwash my Elizabeth. They will teach her to really hate me. And do not waste your time with a lowlife like her. She was already fired. You were fired? But why? Did you two have a fight? I don't believe Charles will do that. And what made you say that? Because if he's angry with you, why would he even look for you? I'm only after Elizabeth. Before you can see Elizabeth, you need to get through her father first, right? Now, do you think you're ready to see Charles again? Grace? Wait a minute, do you know her? Hey, do not interfere. I can handle this obnoxious snob. I can You're handle friends this. friends of mine. Uh, Grace is your friend, not me. Pick up my shopping bags now. You mean these bags? Yes. Here you go, miss. Uh. In your dreams! Go pick them up yourself. And I'm just controlling my temper. Why don't you ask him to pick up your bags? You obnoxious snob, conceited, rotten, rich girl! <laughs> Come on, Nato, I just cannot no, stand no. this obnoxious no, people anymore. No, I can't stop. stand anything! No, what are you no. doing? Stop no, it! Get out! Get out! Get out. Get out. Here, you obnoxious snob and fat too! I do not think I can do this. What? But I thought you said that you're ready to do anything. Yes, but it seems so complicated. Can you think of another way to do this? It's that girl, right? You're acting differently. No, I was thinking of something else. If only I knew you prefer waitresses. I should have worn an apron instead before you bumped into me. Can you believe out of all the people who could run into me, it had to be that obnoxious snob? What? I'm so unlucky, my mother was right after all. Who are you really mad at? The obnoxious snob? Or with her companion, the obnoxious Andrew. Whatever outfit you're wearing, I would still bump into you just to meet you. Are you saying that you did that on purpose? I'm saying, can I call you? <laughs> smooth. Very smooth. Don't worry about the thing. Redentor will be with you. So that whatever happens there, I trust him to protect you. Anastasia. Your wishes are finally coming true. You will see Charles again. And you will meet and embrace your daughter at last. And they will soon find out who Anastasia C. is. I don't understand why you keep expecting so much from him. You refused to believe me the last time. That he has so many girlfriends. Really? And she is not the only one. There was the other girl who kissed him at the construction site. Oh? It was a different girl. Mm -hmm. For your information, I'm not expecting anything from him at all. Oh? It was him who made the first move, okay? <laughs> really? I like the way you're smiling at me. But in your mind, it's that waitress. Why not? Call me. I want to get to know you. Diana, here. You will have to call this number. But be sure to use a different mobile phone so the call will not be traced. This is the time for Charles and Diana to meet again. Uh, can I get your number? You do not look good together, no matter what you say. Andrew said we look good together. Oh my goodness. And you believed him? But of 
Of course not, obviously. Will you just get out of here? You're also ruining no. my day. Go and leave us. I don't us. think so. Leave. You know, you're so gullible. I don't okay, understand fine. why just you're still out going here. out with you him. Stick. Go home and take a shower. You smell you like You look garbage. ridiculous. Go home, Nato. See you. Hello, Grandmother. I'm here at the mall, and I finally met her. Hello. I heard you found our daughter. Diana? I would like to see her. Where are you, Diana? Just bring her. To the rest house, where she disappeared. When do you want to see her? Tomorrow, noon. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I'll bring you there. Diana, Diana, can I talk to you? You know, ever since I found Elizabeth, I've been looking for you. Can we see each other later? <laughs> Diana. Did you introduce yourself? As Andrew C. Yes. But that is all. She will tell this to one of the Wongs. And they will find out that you and I are related. I don't understand, Grandmother. Isn't this supposed to be a secret? You will eventually understand how I want this secret to turn out. I know who that woman is. She's Elena C. I thought that woman never married. But why is C Andrew's last name? Maybe he's a nephew. Is it all right with you for me to see Andrew? I already told you before, my dear. I won't stop you. But don't tell your grandfather about it. But why not? Um... It's a long story, Elizabeth. Your grandfather and Helena C are rivals in the business. But if you're really interested in Andrew, then I won't stop you. Both of you might even help fix the tension between our families. But promise me, don't tell your grandfather. He won't allow you to see him. So... Romeo and Juliet. I like that. Elizabeth, I'm going to tell you something that you must not tell anyone. I have finally found your mother. What? And you and I are going to see her tomorrow. So tell me when. Father said tomorrow, at the beach house, the both of us will meet her there. Curse that wretched woman! Why can't she just die? So your husband still loves her? What about you? I will not let that happen. But of course. Because if you do, you will surely lose your role in this mansion. And if that happens, it's just going to be me who will reap the fruits of the Wong family fortune. Don't get your hopes up, my dear, huh? If I get caught, it will all be over. And you will also lose that chance. So I'll pick you up later, okay? Okay. And Nato, think about the job opening that I told you about, okay? I will. Take care. Okay, thank you. Hey, Grace. 
I borrowed some money from baby, okay? Make sure you pay her back. But mother, it is only my first day at work today. Are you complaining? Huh? All your sufferings will finally come to an end before the sun sets today. I am just afraid that I might lose any self confidence I have before the day will end. Do not worry, Counselor. Father? Oh. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Going somewhere? We're just going for a ride. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, just around. Can I come along too? So I can get to know your daughter a lot more. Um, well, maybe next time, Katharina. I just want to spend time alone with my daughter. Mother, I did not mean that. I just thought that I might not have enough money anymore because I have to pay up all your debts. So what do you want me to do, huh? It's just boring around this house. I have nothing to eat. There's nothing to drink, just water. I have no one to talk to but that Beck Beck. You better do well with that job, and you pray that you will not get unlucky. Don't you want me to get along with your daughter? Maybe another time. You'll get to know my daughter. Your daughter? Yes, my daughter. So, Elizabeth, say goodbye to your auntie, Katerina. <laughs> Let's go. Smell good! Oh, so good! And so cute! Can I buy some perfume? Yeah. Oh, hi, good. handsome! Of course you can. So good. Grace, Grace, we yeah, have a sure. customer. <gasps> it's you again? I don't know what I will say to her when she sees me, Father. When she sees you again, you don't need to explain anything to each other. But she might not like me, you know. You are her daughter. She will love you. But what if I might not like her? Come and buy it. So I can buy them? Of course Smell you can, good. sir. Grace, look here. Feel good. Feel good with so innocent how much perfume. For all of them? Well, sir, all stocks available perfume. here will total up to 11,000, including the ones in the box. Are you interested? Okay, innocent thank perfume. You. Well, sir. <laughs> if I buy all the perfume, will you listen to me? <laughs> Are you for real? Do you think you can just buy anything? First, you bought not a snacks from me. Second, you bought me a new dress. Are you trying to buy me? It's your time at work that I want to buy, so you can listen to me. Sorry, you just have to buy another girl's time, because with me, I want to work for my own money. <laughs> what? Come and buy this for free. Crazy girl! What were you thinking? This is a quota for this week. I just want to rest for good. Come on, go with him, sir. <laughs> it's a deal? Uh, miss, can you arrange everything? I will, sir, no problem. Thank you. Counselor, can you see them now? 
Diane is finally here. It's Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Please understand my situation. It is just wrong timing. You think it is wrong, so why do you persist? With Elizabeth. It was really my grandmother's idea that I should meet her. I don't really care, Andrew, and it is not my business which girl you want to meet. And you know, that is not the proper way for old people to behave. Telling you which girls you should meet? It is pure business. Part of my work, nothing personal. Oh. Um, excuse me. Isn't it early for closing time? What? No. Somebody bought it all, everything. Um, where is Grace? Did she go home? And what made you think I was being personal? Listen, Andrew, I told you that I do not care, okay? So are you finished? Because if Nato comes by to fetch me here and sees you talking to me again, he is going to beat you up once more and I won't be able to do anything about it. Oh, Grace? Well, she's just around here talking to her handsome client. And I don't care if it beats me up. Diana? We have to go this way. Yes, I was waiting for you. I want to be the one to take you home since I want to formally date you. Are you kidding? I'm serious. Oh, come on. Grace, I am. Aren't you supposed to be rich? 
then you are supposed to look for someone who is just like you, who is fair skinned like you, with the same smooth skin, shiny hair, hard headed like you. I'm not like that. You don't know me that well. Yes, I don't. Then let me get close to you so you would know. I will only get hurt by someone like you. Someone like me? A foolish rich boy like you who does not have anything better to do. Madam, here are the papers that need Madam Anastasia's signature. But since she's not around, maybe you can sign them instead. Hmm. I did not mean to disturb you, but Madame Anastasia was supposed to sign them, but she did not come to the office today, so I had to disturb you. I know where she is. Where is she now? <laughs> she is about to cause the downfall of the waltz. Sir, uh, we already sent the divers to the crime laboratory, and uh, according to the initial investigation, there was no foul play that took place. There was actually a leak in the gas tank of the boat, so that caused explosion. Counselor, are you all right? Counselor, we better go. Someone might see us here. Hurry, let's go. Let's go. Hurry up, come on. Counselor, let's go. Please, we have to hurry. It's risky. So the Wong family's our enemy? Have you not read the employee's handbook? I'm sorry, madam. Any concerns about work that Anastasia cannot deal with, give them to me. I will handle them. Yes, madam. No problem. And next time, I do not want any entries inside my office. Just let me prove myself to you that you have the wrong impression. And don't worry, I'm not rushing anything. Just allow me to court you. Well, what if I told you no? Will you give up? No, I won't. So you won't give up, huh? Then why are you asking my permission? So, I'll drive you home then? What? I will drive you home. You said it was okay, okay. right? We are sorry, Mr. Wong, but we searched the whole area. But the waves were very strong. Most likely, they were taken away by the tide. Please, keep looking. We recovered these earlier. Our condolences, sir. Mother and I done wrong. We love each other so much. Why does this happen? <laughs> Father, that's enough. <laughs> Problem this time. It's you. Me? What did I do to you? The question is, what do I need to do to even compare to that Andrew? Why do you want to be on the same level as Andrew? I didn't know you were here. I was waiting for you. And why did you not even come to see me? I was already tired. I just wanted to rest. <sighs> I just want to let you know that I'm very happy with what you did. So now, 
In the eyes of the wolves, Diana is already dead. I can't believe you would do that, Mother. What do you mean? I know you hated that woman. But I could not believe you would even think of having her killed. We were only just kids then, and you know all the hardships we had. Everything you had been through, I was there for you, right? Me! I know that, so I'm thanking you for all the help and support you gave me, right? Listen, you are my best friend and nothing can change that. What? Best friend? After all these years of growing up together, is that it? Is that all I'm ever going to be for you? Have her killed? But I had nothing to do with her boat exploding. Then why do you know the boat exploded, if you say you had nothing to do with it? She is just part of a memory. Now nothing can get in the way of our grand plans, Anastasia, to bring down the Wong Enterprise. And even Charles will not look for you anymore. Because I followed you and Charles. And I saw how the boat exploded. But I had nothing to do with that. Compared to that Andrew, whom you've just met and know nothing about, can you tell me, is he just a friend too? Get straight to the point, Nato. What is your problem with Andrew? Why do you hate him so much? Is Andrew the only way for you to have a better life? Am I not helping you? I was so close to Elizabeth. I was so close to my daughter. Ah. Diana's daughter. Not Anastasia's. So. It looks like... You are not happy with a turn of events. Do you regret what you just did? Do you still love Charles? Those are harsh words. Do you think I have a low regard for myself? I am just telling you that he is only going to hurt you. You know, I wish he could do the same things as I am doing for you. So what is your problem, Nato? If you don't get it, you're dense. What? Hey! And I know how insecure that woman makes you feel, Mother. Yes, I am happy. I am very happy that she's dead. But if you were accusing me that I had her killed, well, that's where you are wrong. Because I did not do it. I am warning you, Anastasia. That weakness of your heart, it will destroy your conviction. And all that I had worked hard for, that we worked hard for, the company we built, might crumble and go down with you. I already made my decision. When Charles left me and got married to Katarina, he already crushed my heart. Whatever plans we have, I will gladly do them, as long as it will ruin the Wongs. Very good! There. Those are the words I want to hear from you. Do you really think I could do that? You tell me. As far as I know, you will do anything you could. Just to get what you want. And even your own daughter? You will use just to get your hands on the Wong fortune? <laughs> Shut Go up. ahead! No one to turn to. Cause Quiet! I... It's too early in the morning for you to be warbling. What an idiot! Mother, do you want some coffee? I can fix you up a cup if you like. Coffee? Coffee? Uh -huh. Here you go. I want a drink that has the spirit of the devil, not coffee. Mother, it is too early for that. Why don't you have some breakfast first, so you can have a full stomach for a change? You were looking for me? Oh, yes. Please sit down. Josephine, I don't need you here. Please go outside. Yes, madam. Are you lecturing me now? No, Mother. I'm just thinking 
about your health. Hey, just because you have a job now does not mean you can tell me what to do. Give me what you earned yesterday. So what happened to the meeting that I told you to arrange with members of the Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce? Uh, I forgot about that. Anastasia, I asked you to do that two weeks ago. I really need to get the Chamber's full support for my fight against George Wong, against the Wong Enterprises. I will get to it right away. My goodness, who knows if that George Wong already beat us to them. You know that I don't like wasting any chances. I know that. I, I I'm sorry. That's it? Nothing more? Is this all? You see, Mother, I just thought that I would use the rest of the money to buy food to help out Manuel and Nato with the expenses. It is only right, you know. The right thing to do for them? What about the right thing to do for me? And what about your promise to your father, huh? That you will take care of me, so give it all to me. What is happening to you? It's not like you to be acting this way. You have always been focused and diligent. <sighs> there is only one thing that could be bothering you. Charles Wong. Good girl. Keep this up and we won't end up fighting. Here, mother. Oh, Nato, Nato. I fixed some breakfast. Come, let's eat. No thanks. I'm not yet hungry. <laughs> the only person who really cares about you has given up. And why? Because you're hopeless. What a lousy breakfast. Not him, my daughter. I should have known, Anastasia. Is it wrong for me to want to see her? I will not tell her who I really am. What is with you? And I thought you were ready. We must plan very carefully how your meeting with them will take place. But my daughter has nothing to do with our hatred for the Wong family. She is still my daughter. She is Charles Wong's daughter. Grandchild of George Wong. But please... Auntie! Enough! Be quiet! I will not just stand by and lose what I had worked hard for because of your weaknesses. Diana, I thought about what the fisherman said. It seems her daughter drifted away from the shore, but we can't be sure if the shark ate her or not. That can't be! My daughter is just missing. I refuse to believe you. Charles, your wife is going insane. She's been calling out all day for Elizabeth. She said she saw her. And now she's hiding my daughter. I know our daughter is alive. You're insane. Call the doctor. I am not crazy. I heard her. This woman has lost her sanity. Charles, we already talked about this. You're aware that she's capable of hurting not only other people, but herself as well. No, Charles! I'm not crazy! Please believe me, Charles! Charles, you have to accept the truth. Your wife is already insane. All this time you've been fooling me? You keep telling me that I'm just imagining things. My hunch was right, Charles! You still love Diana! here the answer to our problems the three and one grace hey what are you doing over here leaving me alone back at the perfume section 
It was our boss who sent me here and put me in charge. He said I should bring up the sales of this lamp radio. I'm selling brightness even if my life is really in darkness. Oh no, what's this drama all about now? What is this tragedy in your life? Pek Pek, what are you doing with my shirt? Why are you goofing around with it, huh? Well, I want to help you, Nato. I always see you going to school every day. Wearing your wrinkled shirt. They might not accept you in school. It doesn't really matter if my shirt is all wrinkled, okay? You don't have to do that. And what matters is that I study my lessons well. It is not easy raising a parent. Is it your mother again? The one and only. As usual. I just thought you only missed Nato. And why would I be missing Nato? Huh? Mm, admit what? it. Hi, Grace. Nato? Hi, Beauty. Oh. You know I want to go to school too. I want to be a NAR someday. <laughs> it's nurse and not nurse. Don't worry, Beck Beck. Once I get to graduate, and if I get lucky, and get a good paying job, I will send you to school. Do you mean that, Nato? Mm hmm Promise. And even Grace? Sir. I want to investigate how Diana died. I have a strong feeling that someone killed her. But who do you think has a motive to kill Diana? I want you to investigate my family. Andrew, how are you? <laughs> Wait a second, why did you call me Nato? It's her fault, she had me confused. Me? Confused with what? You were confusing me with your opinions about my life. What? I was not confusing you. I wasn't doing anything. So how are you? What's going on? Have you two patched things up? What made you say that? Because I saw you two this morning. You were ignoring her the whole time. Here. And now she feels really bad. Just don't mind her. She doesn't feel bad. And... Grace has other interests now. That's why she acts that way. I do hope you did not think of me as Nato. And why would I think that? That's right. Why would she even think of that? <laughs> Ow! Grace, that really hurt. <sighs> well, anyway, later after your work, is it okay if we have dinner tonight? Okay, Just the two sure. of us, if it's all right. She only thinks that she prefers Andrew, but it's you she really likes. She doesn't know it yet. You know, you're good at this. Only you can think of that. Why don't you and Grace have this conversation sometime? You should tell her what you told me. And somehow it might knock some sense into her. I have to go now. Thank you. Where were you last February 25? Friday, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What is this? Why are you asking those questions? Are you investigating us? We can have this questioning done at the police station, sir. But in my opinion, you would prefer to have this conversation done here. What are you accusing us of? Go straight to the point. I'm just asking a few questions. I'm not accusing anyone. Madam. Madam. If Madam Helena finds out about this, I will surely lose my job. I was here at home during that time. I was preparing dinner. The maids here can testify to that. I was at the office. You can ask the security guards. I will only talk in the presence of my lawyer. So if you have a case to file against me, then do it. I will fight back. I just want to see my daughter. But didn't we plan that boat explosion? How are you going to explain this? I will not tell her that I am her real mother. Sir, a lawyer will not be necessary yet. If you will just tell me where you were on February 25 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, because that is the time of the death of Mrs. Diana Wong. How can that be? Diana's dead? Charles? Charles! What will you tell her? That you are Anastasia C? And what is your reason for meeting her? I will think of something. What is going on here? Charles is having us investigated for Diana's death. Why would he even think of accusing us of her death? Charles? What is this madness that you are having us investigated, huh? For the death of Diana? Someone had her killed. 
Whoever was trying to ruin her before is likely responsible for her death. But why us? We are your family. I am your wife. A wife who did nothing but be jealous of Diana. Bad idea, madam. We will both get into big trouble, especially me. As long as I see my daughter, okay? Madam, where are you going? Just a minute. Someone might see you there. <sighs> I know I was jealous. But that does not mean I had her killed. Back then, Diana kept telling me our child was alive. And now Elizabeth is here. She was telling the truth. And she wasn't crazy. But all you convinced me that she had no chance of getting better. So now you're blaming me? Be honest with me, Katarina. Did you have anything to do with her death? <laughs> How dare you! How dare you accuse me of killing your wife? If you're innocent, then you shouldn't be angry. I have the right to get angry because I am the victim here! How did you become the victim? Charles, when we were children! When we were just kids, I already loved you! I did everything so you would only notice me! And then what did you do? You got married to Diana! And then when she got crazy, you married me! And I thought you were finally mine! But all along, you still loved her! When you found out Diana was alive, you did everything to get her out of the way. Charles, you're so unfair. You are accusing me of killing Diana. Why? Why are you doing this to me, huh? Then you should have just left me! I will do everything to find out who murdered Diana. Everyone will be under investigation. Including you! I am your wife, Charles! I am still your wife! If you do not have any respect left for me at all, I am going to leave this house! I don't care what you do! Do what you want! I do wish that I was the one who killed Diana. You will come crawling back to me, Charles. I will promise you that. Castar, mm. do you know anyone who we can recommend to be a maid? No way. I don't do that anymore. You know, if the maid gets caught stealing or maybe runs away, I will get blamed in the end. Do you know how much commission the agency gives per head? They give 3,000. All we need to do is recruit. 3,000? Where were you last Friday, madam, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon? At the cemetery. I was visiting my dead son. Can anyone confirm that you were there at that time and place? Oh, yes. The ghosts? The dead? Who else is there around the cemetery? After going there, where did you go next? Me! I know someone who can work as a maid. Oh, no. There you go again, Epan. Who is it this time? No way! Just give one month deposit, and then one month advance. She can already start tomorrow. Remember, Epa, as long as she is hard working, we won't have any problem with the money. I guarantee that. She is hard working and very diligent. Well, at the supermarket. Where is this supermarket, madam? Downtown. You came from the Chinese cemetery and went to the city. Around what time did you arrive in the city? Around four o'clock. From the Chinese cemetery going to the city, travel time took only 30 minutes? Yes, why? Bad luck is all she brings. She's not bad luck. If I didn't listen to you, if I didn't let you ruin how I thought about Diana, she would have been alive. Listen, Eppa. This kid's better. You have no idea how difficult it is to find a kid to work in a factory. Oh, goodness, Mother, where'd you bring Beck Beck? Mother, please tell me where you brought Beck Beck. Go ask Grammy. Don't ask me. I have no idea where she is. I really believe that there will come a time when you will make our company bloom and prosper. Let me bring you home, Grace. You can't take a cab to our place because it's too far. Take a jeepney. Okay, let's take the jeepney. Listen, Grace, I will prove to you that I'm serious. Hey, 
Sir, why did you do that? Andrew! 